first time I heard uh, Lafferty's Reel, it was on a recording made by two great fiddle players, Paddy Canny and PJ Hayes. That recording is still one of my favourite recordings of fiddle music. And uh, I was told the name of this reel was Lafferty's Reel. And I knew that both Paddy and PJ had played with a great pianist from uh, County Clare called Bridie Lafferty. So I just presumed that it was named after her, or perhaps she wrote it. Um, but later on, I found out that it was actually written by Sean Ryan, the great fiddle player. Um, and his name for the tune was the Dash to Portobello. <clears throat> but uh, most people that I know still refer to it as Lafferty's Reel. So uh, that's why I still call it. It's an E minor tune and one of the things that attracted me to it was the way Paddy Kenny and PJ Hayes played it. Very smooth, rolling, uh, definitely way uh, ups and downs, you know, like waves throughout the tune. But uh, basically it's very smooth and lovely, even tempered tone as they played. Um, so I often tried to emulate that um, so now you can emulate that also. Uh, it starts on the B note and goes down to the F sharp and then I keep that second finger in place when I play those other notes. When I play Lafferty's Reel, one of the notes I mess around with is the B. The note that starts the tune off. Normally I'd, I'd slide up to it a little. And then when it comes back the next time, I slide down from it. So the first time I go... Next time we go, it gives it that mournful tinge, even though it's often rolling along at a nice pace. Just that hint of sadness is nice. It's like uh, putting salt into something sweet. Mm -hmm. 